Hello everybody, I am DeGroot and welcome back to another unboxing video here on Electronic Idiots where today I'm going back to baseball. I was happy enough to find a set that I wanted to open the first time I saw it, except the first time I saw it, it was about a $90 box, but you were guaranteed some autos, but there's no guarantee in any life that any auto you're ever going to get from a box that's guaranteed is any good. But that very set is Topps Gallery, hang on, 2021. Uh, I really like uh, artistic style of tops when they get into these like uh, more artsy fartsy stuff. So I wanted to open some of these because I wanted to see them. Uh, these these beautiful artwork, you know, I appreciate it because I was a uh, art major, and uh, so yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to do. I wanted to open these bad boys, and I got two of these blister boxes boxes from Walmart today. Um, and each one of these features four exclusive printer-proof parallels. I'm curious to see what those are. Uh, you can kind of see a little preview here. Or actually, it would probably be better if I showed you here. A little preview of some of the styles we can expect. Maybe we can even pull an autograph. That'd be really cool. Would love to get a massive auto pull. So far, the best auto pull we got on this channel is that... Uh, see, who was it? It was... Uh, uh, Oh, shoot. Uh, former Cardinal. Orlando um, Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda. So that's the best auto we've pulled so far. So let's see. Let's just get into this. It's going to be a nice short video. There's only, let's see, I think 12 packs. I think each had six in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven. Yeah, so there's four, 14 total packs. Sorry, I'm using a different setup. So if my eyes go in a weird location on recording or my lighting goes buggy like it just did. It's because I'm using my phone as my primary audio and visual for me. And then uh, we got the camera here for uh, the packs. I'm trying a new setup to see if I could get something that works just a little bit better um, for editing purposes. Uh, this, this format, I feel like I can sync my video and audio better uh, because I can just sit a bit because there's a little delay. Um, on the on that so anyway without further ado here we go our first card is a trey mancini pretty dark border kind of hard to see it that's an interesting looking card though i like the i like the portraits portraiture oh followed by another oriole okay here's our first printer proof uh brooks robinson i'm gonna do a quick little look at that guy yeah there's there's nothing different here it's just uh, a card with a stamp on it. So it's not special, sadly. All right, Aaron Judge and Tristan McKenzie. So each one of these packs looks like there's four cards. And that Tristan McKenzie was a rookie. Oh, that's that guy with all that, all those dreads sticking out of his hat that make it hard <laughs> for it to stay on. It's like, hey, that's a commitment, man, to have that much hair. You know, I'm lucky in my life, in my late 30s now, I haven't lost any hair. My hairline might not be as good as it used to be, and it might be thin hair, but it's still there. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got the Hall of Famer Johnny Bench, Jose Ramirez. Ooh, okay, cool. We got like a, like a refractor type of deal here. I don't even know what that would be called in this case. I mean, it's top, so it could be a refractor of Johnny Bench. So we got a two for a nap pack and you Darvish. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have any special markings on the back that I could see to indicate what this parallel is called. But let's check out the back of the pack real quick. So let's see. Printer proof is one and two. Rainbow foil, one and three. So that's probably what that is. That's probably a rainbow foil. And that's pretty. I like that. It's a nice card. Johnny Bench. One of the greatest defensive catchers of all time. Or just, actually, I say defensive. One of the greatest catchers, period, of all time. Nice pull. Nice card. Nice card. So, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a short video with only four cards in each pack. But you know what? It's something to do. It's something to do. It's something cool to open. Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Charlie Blackman. Got a Cattell Marte printer proof. Pretty good ball player. And finally, in this pack, a Roy Campanella of the Los Angeles, well, Brooklyn Dodgers at that time. 
All right, so far, kind of, eh. I could see why they didn't get bought. <laughs> no, that's all right. I like them. They're very simple. I was having a conversation with some guys yesterday staying around the ball cards as we open another pack. Ooh, Reggie Jackson. Hey, Shohei Otani. Modern artist. Insert card. Awesome. That's a good card. Art by Josh Trout. Any relation to Mike? But yeah, our first insert. Shohei Otani. That's a good one. Tim Anderson. Eddie Murray. Another Hall of Famer. Uh, we had a I had a discussion with these folks about kind of the direction of ball cards and how I was just like, you know, I kind of wish we could stick with sort of the more subdued. I feel like, uh, you know, Panini goes above and beyond trying to make their cards the prettiest, which, you know, to a degree I like. But sometimes less is more, in my opinion, when it comes to, like, cards because they're supposed to be photographs, basically, of ball players, And, you know, like... This is just a great photograph, and there's just a little bit of ornamentation around the card so that, you know, you get something pleasant to look at beyond just the normal, oh, Trey Mancini, printer proof, Xander Bogarts, and Ichiro, the world's greatest Japanese player of all time. Maybe. Oh, wait. Show you how Tommy, is he Japanese? Or is he Korean? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you know, that feels like something I should have known as a as a collector and a fan of baseball. You think I know? Ooh, right off the bat, this pack has a good one. Look at Gibby. Rest in peace, big boy. Fun story about Bob Gibson, and I'm going to share it here. Um, actually met him once at one of my first spring trainings. No. Cruz, Mercedes, and being, you know, a lifelong Cardinal fan, I was excited for the opportunity to meet him, and so I managed to get my way to the front row of uh, spring training, uh, you know, seats on the first baseline where Cardinals come in, and just standing there, and uh, just hoping, just hoping, you know. And then, lo and behold, I hear a commotion off to the right near where the ball, ball players come out. And lo and behold, here comes this man in full dress. Now, mind you, he's also wearing the Cardinal jacket. But in full dress, here comes Bob Gibson. And the man is tall. <laughs> but, I mean, everyone's tall. I'm only 5'7". Uh, but he starts signing autographs, and I'm getting excited. I'm just... Praying, hoping and praying that he stops and he comes along he comes along and finally he's probably within 10 feet of me and i see he's kind of jumping around you know kind of going two three then skipping a little farther down and i'm thinking ooh, boy i sure hope i can get this uh but it's about that time he moves into my area he's like maybe one or two people to my right and he starts and this guy this idiot off to the right, standing like three or four people deep where no one can see him and everything, starts mouthing at Bob Gibson. Like, hey, Bob, you got a problem with me or something? You never signed an autograph for me. And Bob's like, well, I guess you got your answer. And so this guy, being an idiot, gets escorted out, of course. Uh, you know, you don't harass players or you know hall of famers for that matter and the rest of us were pretty peeved at the guy and we started making fun of him and you know i'm just like standing there going <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because i'm nervous like i'm nervous that bob gibson in front of me is going to be in a real bad mood and he's gonna say ah screw it i'm done so he signed an autograph to the person on my right and then he reaches out and he takes something from the person on my left and at that moment, I just kind of go, oh, he's not going to. And I'm just holding a ball. I'm just holding, a, you know, a fresh Major League Baseball that I bought specifically for that trip for any, you know, big name to sign. And I'm just kind of like uh, <laughs> dying inside. Like, he's going to skip me. But that in that moment of that thought, he just kind of gets done signing. And he just kind of goes, Nyah! and then looks at me like dead in the eyes. And I'm just like staring up at him like. Uh, and it's like he's reading my soul 
<laughs> like Bob Gibson is piercing the veil and in, into the depths of my very soul right now. And uh, I, I don't know what he saw, but he saw like a genuine fan and he took the ball and he signed it. And now it's forever. Oh, wait, it's upstairs in my uh, case. I was going to show it off, but it's forever in my collection in my my private my special case where like my David Fries World Series ball, my first Adam Wainwright, the McGuire ball, which story for another day. Uh, those are so back to the card story time's over. I'm just doing some filler so this video is not 10 minutes long. <laughs> Bobby Dalbeck rookie card. We got Aaron Nola. Ooh, another one of those rainbow parallels of Corbin Burns. Didn't he win the Cy Young this year? I think he did. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention after the season was over. And Ryan Mountcastle rookie. Okay, so far we've only pulled one insert. And one, two, three, four, five. And we have surpassed the first box. Okay, so what is this? Friggin' Pokemon Battle Styles? Pull rate on this box is duty. D D Hello again. Hey, look. It's another Bob Gibson. <laughs> That's all right. That's a nice card. Ooh, we got an Andrew Vaughn printer proof rookie. <gasps> oh! Oh, baby! Hello, Dylan Cease autograph card. Oh, yeah! Nice. Nice. What's the last card real quick? It's a Trevor Rogers. Who cares? He's in a... Boy, Miami is weird. Ooh, doggy. All right, not only is that an auto, folks. This auto is numbered 13 of 25. Ooh, 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 hang on a second. We're going to go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up right now. Because I don't want any chance that I'm going to smudge anything or put my greasy fingers where they shouldn't be. I think I just hit the camera with my hat. But there you have it, folks. Sick pull. Number to 25. I'm going to guess it's like a, maybe like an auto orange parallel. But Dylan Cease is one of those guys for the White Sox that they have high hopes for in his future. So that right there is a really good poll and could be a, especially where I live. You know, I know some friends who are um, White Sox fans. So there you have it, folks. We got a hit, not just a hit, a really good hit, too, on top of that. Heck yeah. <laughs> High five. <laughs> nice. Comment below. Let people know you were here to see that. All right. Anyway, that's pretty cool. All right, Nelson Cruz. Here we go. That dude's Aegis Wonder. Oh, and we got a Ryan Weathers rookie. You know, I meant to play music during this thing, but my speakers are deciding to make noise anyways. <laughs> Ryan Weathers, rainbow rookie. And then we got, oh, George Springer, who put a lot of the doubters to... To, to shut him up this year, including myself and Ha Seung Kim, rookie card. George Springer had a pretty solid season with Toronto, so I guess, you know, he didn't have to cheat, which begs the question why? Why would you, if you guys were that good, why would you just cheat anyways? You know, can't you trust your abilities? Alas, they did not. And we got another Bobby Dalbeck rookie. Uh, Mitch Hanniger, printer proof. Whoop de doo. Raphael Devers. Now I see these printer proofs. There's not even anything special about them. And a Trevor Larnich. Trevor Larnich. Come on down. So, yeah. Now, the question was did I get my money's worth? I think that was pretty close, <laughs> honestly. Here we go. Another Aaron Nola. Seeing some repeats here. Wilson Contreras, Rainbow. There we go. Chicago Cubs fans. I think there's an insert behind that, too. Oh, very nice. Christian Yelich. There's some speculations he was a cheater, too. And then the last two seasons, his he's been nothing but dookie. Hey, Max Scherzer. Hey, and an updated um, LA Dodgers, too. Nice. It's a good-looking card. That, uh, yeah. 
Speculation Yelich was among those trying to, you know, steal signs and stuff. And it would explain why he sucks so bad now. But I could, you know, could be wrong. Just, uh, you know, allegedly. Okay. Daniel Lynch, rookie card. Polly, all right. Finally got a, a current Cardinal. Don't get me wrong. I like my two Bob Gibsons, but uh, that's a snazzy card right there. That's that's auto-worthy. That's a card I'd love to get signed. Oh, okay. Well, at least this printer proof is a highly collectible player. And Bryce, baby, big baby Harper. And we got Geraldo Perdomo, rookie. For the D-backs. Cool, cool. Two packs left, everybody. Two packs, and then we are done for today's video. Oh, boy. Look, hidden at the back, I see another card I already pulled. 14 packs, and I've got, like, six duplicates. That's a little frustrating. But we got a D.V. Garcia. Okay. Got Alex Kirilov, rookie, printer proof. Another Aaron Judge, and another... Tristan McKenzie. I mean, I don't mind extra Aaron Judge. This dude's a beast. But, come on, folks. I want to see different cards. Oh, God. Now, look at the back of this one. And we're not changing the script very much. Steven Strasburg. We got a Kyle Tucker Rambo card. One last insert. And it's the next wave featuring what I assume is the rookie phenom for Pittsburgh Pirates, Cabrian Hayes, New Wave, number nine. Yep, that's an insert already. I forgot his name, honestly. That's why I had to look. But that's a pretty cool card. Nice. And finally, you, another duplicate. But hey, all in all, um, I don't know. Honestly, uh, looking at the design of the cards, it's very simple. Uh, the the borders are pretty dark and hard to see. I mean, on the camera, it looks even harder. In person, it's not so bad. Like, when you just, you know, in standard lighting, it's not terrible. It's more of a dark gray. The gold highlights, though, really get drowned out. So, uh, I will ding this set for that. Uh, but as far as design quality go, I like it. You know, sort of like a picture in a frame. And then the photographs are, of course, you know, great photographs because tops, you know, they get the best photos. But that said, at least we got our, was a second legitimate auto pull, not like one of those guaranteed auto situations. And it's a, it's a, it's a good one. It's a banger. It's a, it's a nice one. Dylan C. So the White Sox, hopefully future stud number 13 of 25. And I'll have to go upstairs and put that sucker in a top loader and get it safe. And see if maybe we can find a new home for it. Uh, hopefully a White Sox fan. <laughs> but there you go. That is Topps Gallery 2021. I uh, do enjoy opening the baseball. Would have liked to have gotten a little more variety. Maybe a couple more Cardinals for my personal collection. But all in all, not too shabby. Not too shabby. At 20 bucks a box, you know. You'd like to see a little more inserts. These uh these rainbow cards are okay. The the uh, proofs are whatever. I mean, there's nothing special about them. They're not even like a different card, you know, like a canvas thing. But I don't know. If I was gonna grade this, I'd say it's probably B minus. It's okay, you know, maybe a C plus at worst. You know, but um, uh, yeah, I've seen better top gallery and. But, uh, there, there you go. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. It's only about a 20-minute one. I hope it uh, didn't bore you. And then you had a good time. And if you had a good time, be sure to hit the like button to show your enjoyment. And if you know some folks who'd like to watch this video, too, don't forget to share it. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you'll be updated when new pack openings or playthroughs if I ever get a new computer. <laughs> goes through because when you do those things you too can be an electronic idiot and until next time see you guys bye bye